Let's do it. View parallel chronicle Damek 1? Yes. Damek and Ulrich gathered in the town square uh, come morning. The road to Valinorth would be long and fraught with danger. But this time, Damek was certain he'd sent the right man. Are you sure you'll be okay on your own? It's not too late to ask for some escorts. Yes, Damek, stop asking. I'll be fine. And I'm well aware of the dangers. Bringing more people would just put them in harm's way. Well, forgive me for caring. I just wanted to make sure you're comfortable. If the attack is imminent, you'll have to rush. Gotta go fast. I expect it'll take me under a day. I'll arrive in the dead of night or maybe early morning. Seeking out the CRS will be the first thing I do. Fantastic. Then things will go perfectly. Make sure to give the rest of the town a heads up. You can all evacuate together. You'll blend right in. We'll be like chameleons. But remember, you need to stop by Milus and grab the blade. Otherwise, the Triumvirate will seize it when they attack. If I'm honest, I don't think we stand a chance without it. I can't believe they're attacking Valinorth. The occupation of Mazeo is still so fresh. Thankfully, they haven't found us yet. Right under their noses, just as we should be. I'm going to meet with the mayor after this, actually. I'll see about fully claiming those underground tunnels. Do it. Whatever they were digging for, they've stopped. I think it would make a fine base of operations. Getting the deed shouldn't be too difficult. Wait, you mean we'll have a new home? No more sleeping on the hard tavern floor? Never again. It's time we get established. I have some large shoes to fill as the general. The first step is finding us a fitting home. Good. I'm glad to hear it. But one last thing before I go. Is it true what I've heard about Milas? Absolutely. So please be kind to him. He'll be a valuable ally in the coming days. Best of luck on your vacation, Ulrich. Good luck! Trust me, I wish that's what it was. But I'll try retrieving the Sierras and the Blade as soon as possible. Beyblade. Good luck with the mayor. I think you'll need it. Beyblade, Beyblade, let it be all. We're coming back to a home with an actual battle plan. It's starting to feel like our cause has some real weight to it. I feel bad for doubting you, Domic. You're doing a great job. Good job. Keep it up. And then we have Sovi one. Yes. Sovi entered the chambers of the Triumvirate unprompted, for Halen had extracted the information they desired. They raised their hoods and turned to him scoffing, a hint of aggression on their quickly concealed faces. Sovi, what is the meaning of this intrusion? Oop, they're angry. You pissed him off. Halen has finished his interrogation, Masters. I thought it would be wise to relay the results. Unless you were plotting behind our backs. Ooh. We would never do such a thing. Information is granted to you as we see fit. If you are left in the dark, it is not permanent. But please, tell us what Ava discovered. We have a feeling our theories are similar. Yes, of course. The Exodus Wielder is located in Valinorth. I am ready to launch our attack at a moment's notice. Good. Then it is time you hear the rest. Valinorth is just a small part of our larger plan. We see no more reason to withhold this information. I was lost in thought for like two obvious, seconds. Masters. Why did you keep it from me for so long? Halen and I are more than loyal enough. Sophie, this is not a matter of loyalty. We are sure you understand when you hear. It would not be wise to doubt our word. Yes, yes. My apologies. Nobody likes being left in the dark. I will ensure my words sound less doubtful. If there is a greater plan at play, I am honored. I find no greater pleasure than serving your cause. So please, tell me what you wish, and it will happen. We've led you to believe that Valinor is our goal. However, it is just the beginning of a much larger plan. Today, you will learn the true nature of the spirit realm. Wow, okay. Um, we need a book. 
Houses near the tank are reserved for the elderly. Something about minimizing travel time to our water source. Of course, houses near here are way too humid to be comfortable, but for some reason, they don't complain and happily reside inside. I heard some noises. Try not to waste too much time here, CRS. I'm dressed in layers, and this humidity is gross. I wouldn't want to ruin my outfit before your ceremony. <laughs> Uh, there's buckets lined up right beside the faucets in my haste. I didn't even drink or eat breakfast. Should I wait until I'm free to drink or put your mouth under the tap and drink? Um, go thirsty for an indeterminate amount of time. I saw you staring down that faucet. Trust me, I've been tempted more than once. But the villagers need a better example. But I'm thirsty. There's a book sitting here. It's wet and stained. Most likely water damage due to its proximity to the tank. When I approach it, Fortum laughs and apologizes Sorry. to me. I think I dropped that when I was waiting. It's something I picked up from Myla's house a few days ago. You're free to take it. I have no use for it anymore. Mysterious Maseo. When the Triumvirate occupied Maseo almost 20 years ago, many people wondered if they did so with an ulterior motive. On the surface, it looked like they wished to rid the region of piracy and those who would break the law. While at work, many believe that the Triumvirate was slowly becoming tyrannical. I mean, probably. There's one very peculiar thing, however. Their general, or mayor, is almost never seen. And the same goes for the honor guard they've placed in Maseo. Hundreds of soldiers, almost never walking in the light of day. Instead, I've had several reports tell me that they dig in the night, deep underground, as if they're searching for something of importance. Could this be what they wanted Maseo for? I branched out of Valinor and started corresponding with some people of note in Maseo. It seems that even if it had a positive impact, many are against the idea of a forceful occupation. One city, and then the world. I suspect that the people in opposition will soon form their own army. It seems like they want to take Maseo away from the Triumvirate and place it back in the hands of the people. A noble cause, I say. Valinor must never meet Maseo's fate. The Elder of Valinor. Ta-da! Yeah, because that would suck. Alright, so, we completed the Parallel Chronicles, we got a book. Now, let's go back to, um, Main Street, so we can talk to Valesa there and get her story. Oh, we also have, have Pro, so let's do that real quick. Pro 1, yes. Pro slammed his hand of cards down on the table. His opponent scoffed and shouted accusations of cheating. He smirked as he made his way to the bar, laughing them off. With his newfound riches, he'd celebrate over a drink. <laughs> Only when they lose do they accuse me of cheating. Where I come from, it's called a sore loser, Aaron. It's only being sore if you're not cheating. Pro, are you swindling people in my tavern again? Pro... Now, now, that's such a terrible way of putting it. Nothing wrong with using sleight of hand to win. I like to think that they're paying me for my awesome tricks. <laughs> and taking it out on me and my tavern. Yeah, I can see why you think that's so much fun. You're not the one who has to clean up after the brawls. Trust me, I'd kill for a brawl right now. And remember, this isn't your tavern. Sure it is. Has my name on the deed and everything. Oh, yeah? Say that to Domic's face. He's only keeping you open as an intermediary. We need a neutral place between Maseo and Valinor. Trust me, Pro. I'd manage just fine on my own. Most people come here for the drinks and the fun. Domic's support is a bonus. Not really a necessity. Besides, how is your investigation going? Weren't you looking into the seer or something? Hard to do that when you play cards all day. Yeah, pro. You think I'm playing, but I'm secretly listening. Your patrons have given me a great deal of information. So you're stealing that from them too? Are you ever going to give anything back around here? Yeah, I'm this close to making my move. There's this really cool sword being held in Valinorth. I'm supposed to retrieve it. Along with the Cirrus. Of course, that was almost a week ago. Namek is pretty impatient, so I better hurry. If 
I take any longer, he might send someone else. Too late. That's the smartest thing you've said. Not today or this week, just in general. It's not like that blade will come to you. It doesn't have Here, legs. Try this new ale that just came in. But after that, you really need to get to work. I'm afraid you're scaring away some of my business. Yeah, yeah, I'll get right on it. At least let me write my boss first. There's a bunch of stuff he has to know. You mean Domek? He's my boss too, you know. Yeah, of course. I'll grab a paper and you break out that ale. It better be as good as you're making it sound. All right, let's talk to Valessa. Hey. Do you like living in Valinorth? Yeah, of course I do. It's so peaceful and everyone is so nice. I don't think Valinorth has any real downsides. We're not That's plagued awesome. with piracy like Nevea. Our hierarchy works, and we're always stable. If I ever got the chance to leave, I doubt I would. That's partly why I've never left the village. I know that Peregrino is out there in Salberg, but I've only heard stories. I've never actually been. But it'd be well, it would be cool if we went, huh? What can you tell me about Peregrino? It's a watering hole, like a bar. It's popular for people on their way to Valinorth. That's why it's called the Pilgrim's Tavern. Ooh. That's a good business idea, in my opinion. The road to and from Valinorth is long and arduous. I bet everybody wants to stop and grab a drink. At least, that's what I've heard. We don't get too many outsiders, but it's still in business. It makes me wonder if there's something more to that place. Uh, what can you tell me about Solberg? Apparently, each nation has a spirit idol. It's where the spirit realm reaches out into the physical world. Salberg is home to ours, but it's been closed off for a while. It happened around the time we were born, actually. So I've never actually seen one in person. Just in drawings that Fortum and I can find. You know how nature is supposed to hold spiritual energy? Well, that energy has to come from somewhere, right? The idol is actually what delivers it to the land. The more but you know. One idol can't cover all of Alestia. So, like I said, each nation is supposed to have their own. They're like national treasures, to be heavily guarded. We might have to leave someday, you know. I'm not holding my breath, to be honest. We're rather self sustaining here in Valinor. As long as we have seers and scribes, we'll be good. Everything pertaining to our livelihood can be foreseen. So far, we haven't had to forge any alliances or treaties. And remember, it's been this way for thousands of years. Not that I'm against alliances or anything like that, but we have no purpose to leave, so I probably won't. I need to stay where my role is deemed most important. Uh, what is working with Fortum like? It's an experience to say the least. <laughs> His attention span isn't the best, you know. Like a child. He's out in the middle of our studies. And he always finds a way to make things humorous. It can be somewhat frustrating when I'm trying to teach him. But maybe that's just me. I need to loosen up a little. He needs to calm down a little, yeah? You, you take things a bit too seriously, Vitalessa. As long as we all get along in the end, it don't matter. I guess so. We could hate each other's guts. That would make protecting Valinorth quite hard. Mm hmm Considering that, I think things are pretty good. I guess I'll just work on my tolerance for his antics. I kind of thought you'd agree. And now I feel weird. But if this is just a Valesa problem, I'll fix it. As always, you have a way of putting things in perspective. I'm gifted. Sorry if it sounded like I was bashing his personality. It was... More like an observation. That's all. Uh, are you prepared for the ceremony? Yeah, definitely. I've been preparing for weeks. It's not too complicated. At least for me. It might be a little harder for you. But basically, just recite after my list. After that, it's one big celebration. That's not my too bad. Minimal. This is your special day. As long as you can handle the spotlight, you're good. You won't have to memorize anything. Or make a huge speech. Cool. 
uh, why are we only doing this now? What's the whole purpose of the ceremony? When does it start? How long does it last? Apparently, Miles' father was caught up in other things. It must have been important to show him something like this. I wonder if it's related to his disappearance. Anyway, that's why it hasn't happened until now. It's supposed to happen when you're much younger. But I don't see any reason why it can't happen now. Uh, what's the whole purpose of the ceremony? You pledge yourself to the Fallen Lord and its protection. Until the end of your days, you'll serve our village. In return, you pretty much get to live a life of luxury. I'd like to live a the life of luxury. amazing. A long time coming. I hear you'll get a house near Milas and loyal servants. You have to be stress-free. Mental strain affects visions. 